All right, hello, and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Alert Monitors mod, which is being made by form user Linux Guru Gamer. And what this glorious little piece of fork looks to add into the game is a wonderful alert system to warn you about the levels of your ship resources. And I love this mod and was honestly sold on taking a look at it with the first sentence in the mod page where Linux Guru Gamer posed the question, have you ever forgotten to open up your solar panel only to find yourself running out of electric charge while time warping? I know I most certainly have, and I'm sure many of you have done, if not the same, very similar things in this game, and this mod aims to save you from those situations. So let's uh, jump into the alert monitors a ship I've got on the launch pad and have a look at how this all does work. And it is pretty simple, but before we do look at that, I've got two things to go over. First is that this mod is still very much in a beta. So things are likely to change, but even in this current beta state, it is an extraordinarily useful tool that I have been very much appreciating. Now, the second thing is mod prerequisites. Like with pretty much almost every mod Linux Guru Gamer has ever released himself or worked on, you're gonna need the click-through blocker and toolbar controller for this to function. Now with those installed, you'll get this fancy colorful little button over here, where if we click it, we get the alert monitors UI. And as you can see here, it's pretty simple. It's one of the reasons I actually really love this one. We've actually looked at a couple other alert mods in the past, and I like the simplicity of this one. It's very easy to use. At the moment, we've got two buttons, an add resource and a close, and that's it. Now we get a few more things once we do click add resource and you'll see here we've got electric charge now we can use the arrows on either side to go through the other of various resources currently on this vessel now it is only the ones on the vessel so if all you have is electric charge and say mono propellant that's all that will be showing but i've got a number of different things here so we've got everything from xenon gas on down to that electric charge so good time now, the next button is what alarm you want to sound when this thing does activate. And we'll actually go come back to this in a moment. Now, it will activate this alarm sound once the selected resource goes below the percentage you choose. Now, it always defaults to 5%, but you can bump it all the way to 100 or down to zero. And that is uh, that. So we got that helpful slider there. Now then, this button here will uh, basically activate or deactivate it. So if you're not wanting to use it currently at the moment, you can turn it off if you're, say, actively paying attention to everything. But with it active, of course, once it gets below that percentage, it will sound. The next is the delete button, and that will of course clear out that resource. And the final one is preview, where it will preview what will happen when this all occurs. I'm not going to click that yet because, oh my, alarm number one is really loud. Now let's actually come back to the alarm sounds here, and if we do click this, we get another UI element that'll show up that will actually give us all the available alarm sounds you can use, which is pretty handy. So we've got a fair number that come with the mod, and what we can do is we can select preview enabled, so whenever we click one, it'll actually play the sound, and let's uh, turn that on real quick, and I'm gonna remind myself here to turn the audio down in editing, because oh boy, alarm one, two, and three are loud as well, Again, I'll turn it down for you guys, but as you'll see here, that's alarm one, two, and three. Three I hate the most because, of course, it's that very god-awful classic alarm sound, which, oh my god, it keeps going. Then we have normal alert, just a little ding, a resource warning, 
Which I, I like, it's, Kerbal's going there, it's, it's fun. And then we have a default alert. Default warning. Load. Misc sound. Then of course, a negative one and two. A positive. Then wave. And then, a fun thing. This final sound here is not included in the mod. One of the cool things is in the mod folder inside game data, there is a sound folder. And if you have a wave file that you would like to have in this mod to be your alarm, you can throw it in that folder and it will become an alarm sound. I added in this from a wave file I had on my computer, so this is my custom teleport sound. There we go. So yeah, as long as you have a wave file, you can chuck it in the sound folder and it'll be good to go, which is actually very cool. I do very much like that. But let's stick with uh, resource warning, I think. I like that. Well, something a little bit louder. There we go. And hit OK, and that is now our alarm sound. Now, we're actually going to trigger this thing, so let's put this up to, say, yeah, 80-something odd percent. And one of the cool parts about this is once it does trigger, once our electric charge goes below that 84%, it not only will sound that alarm a number of times, it'll also immediately bring you back to regular time if you are currently time warping. So that's my favorite part about this, because like with that first sentence of the mod page, yeah, if you're running low on electricity while you're time warping to your location, it will stop you and go, Oh god, hey, maybe you should open those solar panels. Yeah, yeah, you should do that. So let's actually open up HyperEdit and uh, pull out our miscellaneous tools so I can drain us of power. And let's put ourselves up to uh, a fair bit of time warp. And then I'm just going to bring electric charge down and see what happens. There we go. It activated, and it will play that sound a number of times to warn you. It's a preset number that you can change. We'll talk about how in a moment. And it, of course, did bring us back down to 1x time. And yeah, that's, that's what this mod does. Any resource that you have on your vessel, you can program it to, once it gets below a thing, to make an alarm and bring time back to normal. And I love that. My one, I don't want to say complaint because it's not really a complaint. It's something I hope will be added since this is beta, is to have something that switches this so that you can have it instead of below this percentage to be above that percentage. Because say for something like, uh, or, there we go, we're already below that percentage because my ore container is empty. I would love for an alarm to go off when it got full to a certain point. That would be great. I would really love that because I time warp mine all the time in the game and it's slowing down to go, oh, hey, hey, the tank's almost full and you're almost done is great. That would be a very cool feature to have. Now, one feature it does have right now that I can't really show off because, well, I always like to look at these mods on their own, but one of the fun compatibilities with this mod is it is compatible with the Haystack mod. So if you are wanting to check out another one of your ships through the Haystack interface, you can also set an alarm for that specific ship's resources, which is pretty cool. So it does have that integration there, and if you do have Haystack, you'll have two buttons above add resource, one labeled Haystack that'll open it up, and another that's get vessel from Haystack, which will allow you to set the alarms for that ship, which is pretty nice. Now, as for the crazy loud alarm sounds here, you can adjust that. We're actually gonna have to go back out to the main menu to do this, as you'll find this in when you start a game. Whoops, cancel, let's start a new game here and go into the difficulty options. You'll notice we have an alert monitors option here. And this is where you can set the uh, master volume. It defaults to 50. And so imagine what alarm one, two, and three may have sounded like all the way on 100. Oh God. 
<laughs> so yeah, you can adjust it from here, uh, I, which is nice. We do also have the ability to just toggle off the sound if you don't want the sound going, which I think personally kind of defeats the purpose. I guess it does still stop time warping, but still, the alarm sound seems good. Now next is the alarm count, and that's how many times the alarm will play. Now by default it is 7, but you can go all the way down to 1, or all the way up to 99. Oh boy, again, imagine alarm 1 going off 99 times. Oh, oh it's awful. <laughs> but yes, you can do however many alarms you want here. We can also just flat out turn off the alarm system if you're not wanting it. You can just turn that off and you're good. And another thing it does do is it actually can back up the save before you jump to the vessel. So you can turn that on or off and also cancel flight mode, jump on, backup failure. So if it doesn't back up, it just doesn't go to the flight. And then you can set the number of backup saves to keep. Defaulted at three, it can go all the way up to 50 and the minimum is also three. And finally is again with that haystack integration, if, it, if you want it to snap the haystack window to the alarm window, so they kind of, you know, are there together, which is pretty convenient. And with that, that's really all there is to go over with this lovely Alert Monitors mod. It's a pretty simple thing, but a great and powerful tool. And I can't wait to see what it does become once it uh, comes out of beta. But that is gonna be it for today, folks. Hopefully you all have enjoyed. And if you would like to check out this mod, take a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that's gonna be it for today. Hope you uh, have enjoyed and come back for the next. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.